Would you like to start a startup? That's great, I did it as well. Being an entrepreneur is a wonderful experience, but you need to be aware it's not a trivial matter. If you start a business, there is a very specific goal in your mind, creating an amazing value proposition and making money with it. Of course, nobody would like to invest capitals in a startup which turns out to be a failure, right? This means every step you take from the day zero will be critical to determine the success of not of your business. So how to start a startup and how to scale it in a proper way? I suggest you keep watching the video until the end to get the answers and put a like as well, it's a good omen. Hey, should you become a billionaire? Well, just remember me. Imagine you live in the future, be ahead of your time and reflect on what is missing in today's world. Is everything already there? Definitely not. There is always something new to discover. And once you've found it, write it down, bouncing ideas around. Do brainstorming until you believe you found the right way to go. Then stop theory, make a prototype to show a few people. Get as much feedback as you can and analyze it. It helps you iterate on the prototype until it makes sense. At this point, you need to take a very important step, finding a co-founder, someone to accompany you during the adventure. When you're sure of the choice, register your comparison and split equity. That said, focus on two things, a first version of your solution and funding. Of course, you have to have money before you can make money, but we'll address funding sources in more detail shortly. Here in the middle, there is much, much work to do, but when you're finally ready, launch. Let everyone know you have realized something special and have some well-deserved party. After a while, do a follow-up with your users and notice, are they coming back? If not, don't give up. Just keep iterating and launching again until users will stay. If yes, ride the wave and improve the number of users. Try to increase the percentage week by week and keep growing until reaching millions of users. Finally, enjoy success! During your startup journey, from idea to success, it could happen to do something wrong and have negative consequences on your business performance. That's why I thought I would share with you some top mistakes that are often made, so that by being aware you can avoid them and take a smoother road. Here we go! Number one, building something nobody wants. I bet you're thinking, of course, I'm not naive. In fact, this mistake is not obvious. You have to be careful and distinguish what your customer actually wants versus what you think they want. It's always useful to validate ideas with real users and not only in your mind. Number two, not having the right co-founders or team. Human resources are essential to make sure your startup can take off. Pick the right people to accompany you, both at the strategic stage and at the operational stage. Number three, focusing on wrong things. When doing your business analysis, don't rely on vanity metrics. Instead, learn from data as much as you can and track analytics since version one. Number four, not asking for help. Absolutely wrong. You can do everything by yourself. It's important to ask for other people's help. Try to set goals and communicate them within your team. Do frequent meetings so together you can be aligned on results. Number five, failing to execute sales and marketing. There are many startups which still ignore the power of social media. Yes, I know, I don't accept it either. I mean, we are in 2022 and establishing an online presence is fundamental for brands mostly if they are going to optimize marketing campaigns and grow sales. Number six, not making sure you have enough money or spending too much money. 
The motto about money, if they don't go out, they don't come in, is quite true. However, you certainly cannot spend more than you can afford, otherwise you risk mismanaging your business finances. And, well, you know what happens when you have no more money to continue the business. Do the math, be careful in investments and above all on their ROI. Number seven, chasing investors, not customers. Receiving funds is important to avoid running into unpleasant solutions like the previous one. And I will speak about funding sources in a few seconds, so don't leave. However, you need to remember that your primary focus is on the customer. If you don't implement a customer-centric approach, you can get all the funds you want, but no one will be willing to spend money on your solution. All right, what about you? Have you ever made one of these mistakes in your startup? And how did you overcome it? Comment below, I'm happy to read your story. As I said before, in order to start your startup, you need to have a great idea. However, if you want to make money with it and reach success, you also need some money to invest. What are the top funding sources to rely on then? Let's analyze them together. Bootstrapping. It's a situation in which entrepreneurs choose to build the business from their personal finances or from the operating revenues of the startup. No third parties are involved here. Loans or lines of credit. These are types of bank issues debts. Loans are non-revolving one-time lump sums of credit that a borrower normally uses for a specific purpose, while lines of credit are revolving credit lines that can be used repeatedly for everyday purchases or emergencies. Angel investors. They are basically individuals who provide capital for startups in exchange for convertible debt or ownership equity. Angel investors usually give support to startups at the initial moments. Venture capitalists. These are private equity investors that provide capital to businesses with high growth potential in exchange for an equity stake. This could be funding startup ventures that wish to expand but do not have access to equity markets. Crowdfunding. That is the use of a small amount of capital from a large number of individuals to finance a new business venture. Crowdfunding makes use of the easy accessibility of vast networks of people through social media and websites to bring investors and entrepreneurs together. Startup accelerators. They are fixed term cohort based programs that include mentorship and educational components and culminate in a public pitch event. Accelerators can be either privately or publicly funded and cover a wide range of industries. Local economic development organizations, which are organizations dedicated to the economic development of a region. These are typically government agencies, public-private partnerships or non-governmental organizations working together with other actors to improve the regional economy they focus on. Unfortunately, there is no magic formula to be successful as entrepreneurs. A key awareness is that success doesn't happen overnight but it's a mix of hard work and persistence with a little bit of luck that never hurts. Nevertheless, some suggestions could be helpful. If you would like to deepen the topic, you may take a look at my video right here in the corner. That's all about how to become a successful entrepreneur. Thanks for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it and find it insightful. And if it's so, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel as more videos are coming soon. Ciao!